We are on a collision course in mutual descent towards our neighboring large galaxy, Andromeda. Should we be worried? The degree to which people should be concerned about something as significant as extinction is up for debate. Others contend that the issues of today are more significant than the subject at hand, despite the fact that controversial tech millionaires like Elon Musk and Peter Thiel have financed groups devoted to researching the dangers of disruptive technology. On the other side, we are all enthralled by space and galaxies and are frequently lured to fictitious films that center on the topic. But one of the imagined realities of galaxies merging is actually occurring right now. Our Milky Way galaxy's closest neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy, is heading directly in our direction. According to NASA's analysis, this head-on collision is the next cosmic event that will significantly affect our galaxy. What would take place when the two galaxies meet? Do we say our last rites or observe the unfolding disaster on Earth? Join us to explore the Andromeda and Milky Way galaxy collision that has begun. There are some really amazing things that gravity can do in the cosmos. When the invisible force isn't making sure that your coffee spills directly onto your shirt here on Earth, it's sculpting cosmic matter into spherical planets, crushing gas and dust into bright new stars, and my personal favorite, smushing entire galaxies together. A large galactic ball is formed as gravity pulls galaxies toward one another, sometimes two, sometimes more, until they collide, their contents sloshing and blending as a result. These so-called mergers have been seen by astronomers at almost every stage of the process. Initially, the galaxies appear to be gathered for a crucial space meeting when they are grouped together. When gravity has started to stretch them out of their natural shapes in the thick of it, and after all is said and done, a chaotic sphere is what is left. By that time, the orb surrounding faint star material shimmer is the only indication that there had once been a merger. The first stages of a merger are seen in glittering clarity in the most recent image from the Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii. It will take around 500 million years for the two galaxies, NGC 4567 at the top and NGC NGC 4568 at the bottom, to swing around one another, jostling existing stars and igniting new ones. They currently resemble a tiny paper heart, virtually. Some of the most fascinating events in the universe are galaxy mergers. Supernovas and black hole collisions both have a cool aesthetic. Galactic mergers, however, offer all of that and more. Galactic collisions are also a terrific source of inspiration for daydreams about life on planets far from Earth. Take into account that NGC 4568 and NGC 4567 are rich in stars, and we know from observations of our own galaxy that the majority of stars have planets. That suggests that if we could indulge in a little fantasy, someone else may consider the NGC galaxies to be their home. What might it be like to live through a galaxy-wide merger? Well, astronomers on Earth have found that our galaxy is on the verge of a violent merger that would change the universe forever. Our Milky Way is headed toward the Andromeda Spiral Galaxy, which is another spiral galaxy. Andromeda is currently only visible as a tiny dot in the night sky, but in around 5 billion years, it will be entangled with our solar system. The spiral arms of our galaxy and supermassive black hole will vanish. Our own black hole, which has a relatively small mass of 4 million suns compared to the center black hole of Andromeda at 100 million suns, will be quickly sucked into it. The galaxies won't last in their current form. In actuality, the solar system will outlive the galaxy, the sun won't be a red giant star by that time, but it will have gotten bright enough to scorch the Earth's surface. However, any remaining life forms will be treated to some pretty amazing cosmic choreography. The Milky Way and Andromeda are currently 2.5 million light years distant. The two galaxies are rushing toward one another at 250,000 miles per hour, propelled by gravity. Even yet, it will be 4 billion years before they finally meet. The two galaxies will then smash into one another and pass through it, leaving behind gaseous starry tendrils in their wake. The duo will continue to come together and fly apart for ages, rearranging constellations and jumbling stars until, after about a billion years, the two galaxies unite. When the Milky Way and Andromeda collide and merge, a large elliptical galaxy is created, giving the solar system a new location in the cosmos. This is a true scientific forecast, 
It is not a science fiction chapter. It was a mathematical grasp of the physical principles governing the motions of celestial bodies that allowed Newton to explain the orbits of planets, Halley to predict the return of his comet, and modern astronomers to predict the end of the Milky Way. Astronomers can forecast with confidence that the Milky Way and Andromeda will combine in a few billion years using nothing more than Newton's laws of gravitation, according to host Neil deGrasse Tyson. Few, if any, stars in either galaxy will actually collide because the distances between the stars are so large in comparison to their diameters. There should be no danger to life on those distant planets, but they will be treated to a breathtaking light show that will last for a billion years. Now, how in the world can we know that this will occur? Beginning in the early 1900s, astronomer Vesto Slipher determined the Andromeda galaxy's radial velocity, or the rate at which it was traveling toward or away from Earth. Slipher accomplished this by searching for a recognizable compression or stretching in the Andromeda light that reached Earth. Light from objects traveling away from us is somewhat stretched or red-shifted. The light coming from objects moving toward us has been compressed or blue-shifted. The outcome was quite unexpected. Slipher stated in the Lowell Observatory Bulletin in 1913, we may conclude that the Andromeda Nebula is approaching the solar system with a velocity of around 190 miles per second. Because scientists didn't know that Andromeda wasn't a component of the Milky Way back then, it was referred to as a nebula. Slipher's computation strongly suggested that notion needed to be revised. Andromeda was clearly heading in our direction at this point at least. It was still unclear if its arrival would signal the Milky Way's demise. For many years, it was unknown whether the Milky Way and Andromeda would crash directly or if they would pass one another like star-filled ships in the cosmic darkness. It turns out that determining the sideways motion of distant objects, what astronomers refer to as their proper motion, is significantly more challenging than determining their velocity when they are traveling toward or away from us. When something is far away, it becomes more difficult to quantify its sideways velocity since it doesn't create the recognizable stretched or compressed wavelengths that astronomers can use. Instead, astronomers rely on meticulous studies of an object's position in relation to background stars. Without stronger telescopes, it may take centuries for this slight shift to become visible. Using calculations of Andromeda's proper velocity, Loeb and his former postdoc T.J. Cox simulated the upcoming collision and merging of Andromeda and the Milky Way. Their calculations indicated a higher-than-average likelihood of a collision between the galaxies, with the solar system likely being thrown to the periphery of the new elliptical galaxy, which Loeb dubbed Milcomeda. The collision calculations were redone in 2012 by a group of astronomers at the Space Telescope Science Institute using precise measurements of Andromeda's proper velocity. With the Hubble Space Telescope and an observation campaign that drew on years of data, starting with photographs captured in 2002, the team was finally able to collect the measurements they needed. Astronomer Sangmo Tony Son explains, we compared Hubble Space Telescope images taken at various times and measured how much the Andromeda stars have moved relative to the fuzzy galaxies in the distant background. This demonstrates the speed at which the Andromeda stars migrated across the sky. The crew came to the conclusion that Andromeda's correct motion was extremely little, making a head-on collision all but certain. When the Andromeda galaxy and the Milky Way collide, the resultant changes to our solar system will be profound. Experts predict that the impact will cause the Sun to enter a new region of the Milky Way. When two objects collide, new stars will form, and gas and dark matter will be rearranged and propelled into new orbits. Earth and the rest of the solar system are not expected to be completely destroyed, despite being propelled farther from the galactic center than they are at the moment. The collision of the two galaxies will also result in the formation of a massive galaxy with the shape of an American football known as the Milkamida, as mentioned earlier. According to NASA, it will probably take an additional 2 billion years after their collision for the Milky Way and Andromeda to fully collide. NASA first announced the impending collision in 2012 as a consequence of research done with the Hubble Space Telescope. However, subsequent research has shown that the collision had already begun as recently as 2020. Unless you specifically seek it, the Andromeda galaxy, the nearest spiral galaxy to the Milky Way, is not visible in our night sky. However, in the absence of optical help, you can only faintly make it out as a fuzzy patch of light in the black skies. 
But someday in the far future, Andromeda will shine brightly in our sky, getting bigger and bigger as it approaches us. The eventual merger of our two galaxies has actually already started, even though they are still 2.5 million light years apart. The peer-reviewed astrophysical journal just published fresh data, demonstrating that the collision between our galaxies is already taking place as the Andromeda galaxy races toward the Milky Way at a speed of roughly 70 miles per second. The Andromeda Galaxy, the Milky Way, and other galaxies are all surrounded by a vast ring of gas, dust, and stray stars known as a galactic halo. Galaxies' halos are quite weak. In fact, it is difficult to even detect them. By examining how much light from background quasars was absorbed by the Andromeda Galaxy, these researchers were able to determine the extent of its halo. They were shocked to discover that the halo of the Andromeda Galaxy extends well beyond its apparent borders. Another galaxy that likely found a new home during a massive merger event that occurred between 8 and 10 billion years ago is the source of the vast majority of the stars in the Milky Way's halo. In contrast to our own galaxy, Andromeda may make it easier for astronomers to locate the remains of a previous merger and star migration event. The galactic halo surrounding the Andromeda galaxy is enormous, according to studies. It has indeed come so far that our Milky Way galaxy has already reached the halfway point. Although the Milky Way's galactic halo is hard to measure because of how similar in size it is to Andromeda, scientists have calculated that it probably has a halo of a similar size. In fact, it spreads up to 2 million light years in other directions and as far as 1.3 million light years, which is the distance of our Milky Way. Does this imply that the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxy halos are close to one another? It turns out that the properties of our galaxy's halo are difficult to measure from our location inside the Milky Way. The Milky Way's halo is thought to be comparable to the two galaxies because of how similar they are to one another in size and appearance. In other words, the faint galactic halos are what actually appear to be beginning to contact one another. The collision between our two galaxies has, in a sense, already begun. Yes, the galactic halo of the Milky Way is difficult to quantify, but given that it is so comparable in size to Andromeda, scientists have estimated that it likely contains a halo of a similar extent. If that's the case, then our galaxy and Andromeda are actually touching already. It's nearly impossible to handle the anxiety, right? The cosmic accident will therefore happen in around 3-4 billion years. The gravitational interaction will first rip apart the Milky Way and Andromeda, and then they will combine into a single massive Milcomita galaxy with a brilliant core. Scientists from NASA and ESA used computer simulations to demonstrate what this massive explosion will look like from Earth. It is quite intriguing to fantasize about this subject now, while it is safe, because it is improbable that our planet will be a habitable place at that time. Andromeda will almost completely fill the sky in 2.47 billion years. The sky will become ablaze with a new star formation after 3.84 billion years. Star formation will continue for another 3.9 billion years. Andromeda is tidally stretched and the Milky Way is warped after 4.27 billion years. The Milky Way and Andromeda cores will resemble a pair of vivid flowers in 5.5 billion years. The United Galaxies will form a massive elliptical galaxy after 7 billion years, and its bright center will dominate the night sky. The solar system won't be annihilated by the collision of galaxies, but it will be even more distant from the new galactic center than it is now, according to predictions. Our star, which won't yet be a red giant star at the time of the collision, will grow bright and intense enough to fry the Earth's surface. Our sun, however, will eventually pass the stage of a red giant, shed its outer layer, and transform into a planetary nebula with a white dwarf at its heart. Sadly, our planet will pass away before the sun. The planet will be consumed by the star during the expansion of the sun's atmosphere as a result of the star becoming a red giant. The stars are fairly far away from the other objects, so it is doubtful that any of them will collide on their own. It will take 7 billion years for the entire process to be finished. The sky will seem entirely different at that time and will be brighter as more stars will be drawn to the active galactic core. The Milky Way may also merge with the Triangulum Galaxy, M33, another nearby galaxy, possibly even earlier than with Andromeda. So, how about life on Earth? Will earthly life survive the merger? Will the Andromeda merger be seen by humans? 
the sun will eventually evolve into a red giant in around 7.5 billion years, at which point it will grow larger and eat the Earth. However, the sun's luminosity, or inherent brightness, will rise even before that. In the end, this will occur in a timescale of around 4 billion years. The amount of solar radiation that reaches Earth will rise together with its surface temperature. We could see a runaway greenhouse effect, similar to what Venus is currently experiencing. Therefore, there is a good chance that there won't be any life on Earth when the union is complete. However, perhaps some people on Earth will have developed space travel by then. Possibly, Earth and even our solar system will no longer exist. It's possible that we will still see Andromeda colliding with the Milky Way, albeit from a slightly different angle. Anyway, the merging of the Milky Way with Andromeda has already started. One enormous elliptical galaxy will be created from the two spiral galaxies. In the meantime, if you're the kind of person who experiences overwhelming existential dread when thinking about these kinds of things, simply keep in mind that there will be a long wait before anything like this ever occurs. Long before then, there are certainly more serious existential threats to consider. We. Homo sapiens, an evolutionary species that first appeared some 300,000 years ago, have now surpassed all other species in dominance of the planet. But how long can the human species survive? Humans will eventually become extinct. Our species will likely continue for another billion years, but it will eventually become extinct when the sun's expanding envelope swells outward and heats the planet to a Venus-like state. However, one billion years is a very long period. Microbes were the only life on Earth one billion years ago. Sponge evolution led to the emergence of multicellular life about 600 million years ago. It is impossible to predict what life will look like in another billion years, but modeling research that was released in 2021 shows that by that time, the oxygen content of the Earth's atmosphere will be very low, making anaerobic bacteria more likely than humans to be the last living things on the planet if it's unlikely that humanity will survive to see Earth fried by the sun, when is it most likely that we will perish? Mammalian species typically last for a million years or more, according to paleontology. The human species would then be quite young. Some researchers question whether Homo sapiens must necessarily follow these guidelines. It may be said that humans are a unique species. Either we all perish next week, or we live for millions of years. There are numerous chances for Armageddon, a devastating asteroid impact, a world nuclear war, or the miseries of a climate catastrophe are all possible ways in which humans could perish. The most likely scenario, however, is a confluence of disasters that might entirely wipe off humanity since we are a resilient race. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.